What's up guys, this is going to be a review on the American Arty Tier 7, the M12. Alright, let's start, off, let's start off with the basics. 350 hit points, which is pretty standard at this uh, tier for the Arties. Uh Just under 28 tons. 500 engine power, which is pretty nice. And 38.6 uh, speed limit. And you know, this is true to the speed. You pick up uh, speed pretty quickly in this, uh, this artillery. It's way faster than the S51. Because as you can see, I have it right here. It's, this is way quicker. It picks up speed fast, and it, it feels, you know, somewhat mobile. I mean, it's not a medium tank, but it does feel mobile. So you know, if you get spotted, you know, you're trying to run away. You might be able to run away a little bit because it does have some nice speed. At you know, 38.6, and the engine power is you know pretty nice. And traverse speed is at 20, which is you know not that bad, but really not that good. And of course for the whole armor, you just, you know, complete shit, you know, you're gonna get pinned no matter what. Unless maybe if they hit your gun or your track. So pretty much, you know, let's just mark this as zero because, you know, you've got no armor. And for the gun, as we can see the standard shell damage right here. Which is pretty uh, decent alpha damage. And here's the gun right here. We got a 1.6 rate of fire. Um, 88 pin with a uh, standard HE rounds, 90 pin with a... Uh, gold rounds which are also HE and with this besides the two extra pen which is you know pretty much barely anything you also get the splash radius as we can see right here let me show you that real quick okay here's the regular splash 3.97 with your regular HE and here's the the splash with the gold rounds so you can see you, you gained a little bit of you know uh, splash radius with this so you know it's pretty nice I only carry two of them you know I use them uh, against the tier nines or you know tier eights maybe but I don't really use them too much so that's pretty much all it does just give you a little bit of barely minimal amount of any pen and you get the the extra splash radius which is kind of nice and also the alpha damage as you can see right here average uh, 1250 that's if it penetrates most of the time you're gonna be doing about 300 through uh, 400 of damage if you you know hit their track or you know splash them or hit them but don't penetrate you're going to be doing around that type of damage and once in a while if someone shows you their side or you hit like a weakly armored uh, target then you know you will penetrate and you'll do like you know really high amount of damage which will most likely cripple them or kill them which is pretty nice I've one shot at a IS-8 uh, once by shooting him directly in the ass and, you know he caught on fire and you know I actually one shot at him like he was dead no one else hit him it was just me so I did a total of what uh, 1850 damage I think so yeah this gun you know does damage you don't want to get hit by this but you know you really don't want to get hit by any tier 7 already or higher as they, they start to get bigger guns at tier 8 they get really huge guns uh, with the exception of the S-51 and the SU-1 uh, one uh, SU-14 one, which uh, get that 203 millimeter, which is you know a really nice gun. <laughs> That's the only reason I play my S-51, big ass cannon on that thing. But anyways, back to the back to the stats on the gun. We got 0.72 accuracy, which is pretty good for comparing it to S-51 anyway, which uh, has a 0.9 with Top Gun, which is really crappy. So this accuracy is pretty nice. It does uh, it is pretty reliable with the accuracy. But then again, it is already so you know don't rely on it too much. Make sure to aim fully, and aim time is uh, kind of long, 7.5 aim uh, any time. But you know it's not crappier than the Soviet. As we can see right here, the S51 has a total of eight second reload, which is uh, only half a second faster. Actually, I don't know why this gun has a a uh, just a slightly less uh, reload. I mean aim time compared to the S51 which has a way bigger caliber gun but it's you know it's only half a second difference that's kind of weird maybe this was this should have been probably maybe seven seconds but either way the gun ain't does you know does take a while to aim so you just gotta get used to it and of course you can improve it with the gun lane drive so let, let's just uh, talk to uh, talk about the equipment since you know we're on it right now so rammer gun lane drive and I chose camel net but you could also pick a uh, you know whatever else you want but really I want to be a little more invisible I don't want to get spotted as easily so that's why I chose cabinet there's really no other like main equipment slot for the, the main third equipment slot for the for the Arties. I mean what you really need is rammer and gun lane drive I mean there's no vents on here so obviously you know that's not gonna do anything Cause 
you know this already doesn't have any vents so yeah yeah pretty much it's, this is just your pep, uh, preference but I chose a uh, camonet and eh, consumables repair kit and the first aid kit uh, repair kit is you know just in case you get tracked and I mean somehow somehow the enemy misses your your hole and hits your track and you could just get out of there or the enemy uh, penetrates you or hits uh, doesn't kill you but hits you with a HE shell and you know takes out your ammo rack or something like that you just bring it back I mean it's only 3k so yeah and first first aid kit also for that when you get shot with a HE shell and you know doesn't kill you fully and it kills your loader or something like that just bring it bring them back in the game so that's that's why I carry a uh, consumables and already uh, for crew skills I, I got mentor I got snapshot clutch braking I don't have anything on my radio operator yet and I got camo on my loader and on the other, uh, other loader I also have a camo now let's talk about the commander skills all right well obviously what we really want in already we want brothers in arms uh, if you guys don't know why it's because it will help the you know oh, improve the overall tank it's pretty much kind of like vents but according to this right here as you, as you can see right here it says the real bonus to the parameter parameters of the tank is plus 2.5 so instead of uh, actually 5% which is what it says right here it's actually 2.5% uh, either way it really helps with the aim time and the reload especially if you know for this big caliber gun and really long aim time you're gonna notice a big improvement I know I've noticed it once I put a uh, brothers in arms on my s51 it was just, it just you know it just turns the, the already you know improves it just a little bit more which you know really helps it's really noticeable I think it increased the reload I mean decreased the reload by a second so you know that's really nice and you know increases the aim time because you know what you really want to do with art is you want to keep uh, keep working with that gun you want to keep hitting them you want to keep hitting them keep inflicting high amount of damage while you're over there you know camping at the base that's what you want to do in, in Artie you want to keep uh, hitting targets for your team and doing you know lots of damage with a uh, very big and high caliber guns alright so you know how, how does this uh, M12 play well I have uploaded a a gameplay replay already on the, on my channel which you could check out and if I haven't you know I will soon I kind of forgot if I did or not, but if I haven't yet uploaded it, which I, I will, if I haven't, <laughs> I'll upload it within a week or maybe you know another day or two. I'll, I'll upload the replay and commentate over it. But you know the M12, you know it plays kind of like the, you know the tier six uh, American RD has a very good arc, but except the only difference is you have a really big gun now, so your you know reload is longer, so you can't just like pepper your targets away with the 20 second reload or whatever now you have a really nice and big gun which is you know pretty sweet because I, I like playing the S51 which has a you know way bigger caliber gun and does a lot of damage and I'm used to, I'm used to the long reload so this is you know it's kind of nice having a, a nice uh, alpha damage on the gun so pretty much it plays kind of pretty much the same as you know any other RD uh, it's, mo it's like I said, it's mo it's mobile. You need to escape. Also, the arc is you know really good. It's not crap like the S51. This thing has like no arc at all. So it, this thing is pretty nice. You know, it's a really a uh, well. Uh, uh, let's see, what, what should I call it? Like a well-rounded, you know, very decent arty. It's not. It's not really. It's not bad. It doesn't have any super strengths, but it is good. You know, it's really really decent. So you know, if you guys are going down the this arty line, then you know you're gonna have some fun with this, cause it, you know, I really like it because of that nice alpha damage. I mean, used to this. Uh, I mean, I was getting used to this crappy gun right here. Well, not really crappy, but you know, actually, this one is a different gun than that than the tier six. It actually has better alpha damage. But you know, I, I really want you know a lot of alpha damage. <laughs> That's why I play the S51, which is my favorite arty. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is if you guys wanna. If you guys are grinding down the line, you know you're gonna enjoy this, cause you know I want. The only reason I'm go, uh, grinding down the American line is for this already right here. As I said in multiple videos, I want this 240 millimeter <coughs> gun right here with really high and massive alpha damage. The accuracy is close to the S51. The reload is actually better on this, and the aim time is the same. So I'm pretty sure I'll be used to this. Plus, I, I'm pretty sure it will have a way better arc than the S51. So and it has more pin. 
you know with gold rounds and regular rounds so this is going to be really nice to uh, try this out also here this uh already is also really overpowered that they really uh people choose this already over the t92 which i'm guessing is because you know i don't know i forgot i forgot why people uh, chose this artillery over the the top tier one probably because of the reload or you know this one's i guess more well-rounded also i guess people like more well-rounded uh, artilleries and you know massive huge cannons like the t92 but anyways that's the only reason i'm going down that line so if you guys are going for that t92 you know this is going to be a nice uh jump compared to the tier 6 and uh tier 5 arties on this line which don't have much alpha damage as we can see m44 has a 700 you know alpha damage but it shoots pretty nice and the accuracy is crappier but it you know aims quick so the m12s you know it's pretty good it's it's not bad it's decent and you know it's it's fun to play with art if you enjoy art playing RD, then I, I would suggest uh going on the american line and trying this RD out so it's a lot of fun guys so you know i think i've pretty much talked about everything that i want to talk about with this i mean just play like any standard arty it's not like it's a special arty or anything s51 that i would consider that kind of a special arty you know you have to get used to the really crappy arc which is sometimes really annoying but you know it does have it does carry that massive gun so anyway you know even if you miss you're still going to do about 600 damage 700 damage depending on where exactly you miss or how close you hit near by enemies most of the time on this 51 i'll hit about i'll do about 600 through 700 damage and hitting the track or you know splashing nearby this thing's you know it's it's a killer man this thing's savage you gotta watch out for these if you're playing uh, against one of them you gotta make sure not to get hit by these and uh, this this uh, this gun is not as you know doesn't have a doesn't pack that much of a punch compared to the s51 but you know it'll still hurt you so you know really well-rounded gun like i said before you'll do about 300 through 400 uh damage if you hit their track or splash mostly around the 400 range i'm pretty sure so guys you know that's that's pretty much all i gotta say about this artillery i mean there's really not much else to cover about it but if i haven't posted that replay you know i will post this soon on my uh my channel i, I think i had a pretty good game in it as you can see i have a uh, mastery badge in it let's take a quick look at that uh mastery badge i wonder how much damage i've done on with it let's let's just check that out real quick guys okay so we're looking right here there it is right there I, as you can see i've only played 40 battles in it but i got a nice win rate on it and i, I already feel that you know as soon as i got this artillery uh just in case guys I, I i unlocked the top gun right away so it's not like i've been playing with the stock gun or anything i've been playing with the m12's uh, top gun which you know helped a lot as you can see right here my average uh, damage damage cost to enemies 1160 which is pretty nice and uh let's see what was i looking for maximum experience for battle one point almost 1.1 k which is pretty nice and here's my maximum damage right there 3.4 k almost 3.5 k right there which is really nice killed four tanks but as always i, I always want to do a uh, uh more damage than get more kills you know I'm, I'm all about damage not kills so that's how i play my whenever i see a tiger that's about to die like 100 hp I'm not gonna shoot him unless you know there's nothing else to shoot. I'm, I want I'm gonna shoot the the guy next to him that has a thousand HP. I want to get uh, the most as much damage as I can with my with my gun because you know then you got a long reload and and you know whatnot. But it also you know more EXP. You don't want to hit targets that have low HP. There's not really that much of a point to that unless you know there's they're the only ones spotted or they're like a, unless they're like a really big threat then you know might as well you know go ahead and take them out. But, you know here are my stats right here for the m12 so pretty much this is I, I had some experience already with this already so it's not like you know i don't know what i'm talking about or anything you know i really you know enjoy the already and you know i recommend it even though i've only played 40 battles in it mastery badge already i mean yeah you guys can trust me a little bit <laughs> if not well then you guys could try it out yourself uh I'm not, I'm not being mean or anything i'm just saying yeah so anyways guys this is gonna be a my review on the m12 you know give it a try you know let me know if you know if you enjoyed it or let me know what you think about the video you know subscribe like comment you know whatever it's all good all right guys i'll i'll, I'll see you next time uh for the next video